Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Rob from Panther and today I want to show you what else can you create out of a star or a hexagon um, because you know, like you're an illustrator, you don't have that much of an option. You also see these two stars, you, you see the rectangle, the circle and then these and you see, well, these are just forms. What else can you do with it? You won't use it anyways because mostly you, you're going to use the circle or the rectangle or whatever. Uh, and uh, the thing is like you can do a lot of stuff with these. A lot of things. So uh, I'm gonna show you what else can you do with the star and the hexagon. So before we we jump in, uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get daily updates with new videos. So uh, I'm gonna put it and scale this down, and of course select from the menu or the star or the polygon. This is the polygon. Um, we gotta play around with the polygon. It's a little bit more simple. I usually put the forms in here so I can see them because I uh, use these a lot really often so I need to it basically it needs to be on, on under my hands so I will let's press shift plus alt and just hold it you know and uh, as you can see we got our first um, hexagon so from this let's do an octagon uh, I don't know wait a sec Actually, I can't copy it. I need to create a new one and from here we're gonna do an octagon from this Okay, release it and press the upper arrow As you can see it added another uh, Edge in there. I'm gonna press it another time. You can you can see if I press more it's, it's gonna uh, Create more and more edges if I decrease it you're gonna go and uh, create less edges so I'm gonna press it to create a um, octagon so here is the octagon here is the hexagon let's create a pentagon so I'm gonna go down with the arrow press the down arrow and here you can see the pentagon and this is how you manipulate it you know like you press the up and down arrow until uh, you know you get some interesting forms. Uh, let's do a triangle. I gonna oh this is square. From here we're gonna do tri we're gonna do a triangle. Sorry, let's create another one. And here, boom, we get the triangle. So you can see you you can create interesting stuff. You can create a perfect triangle. You can create a square. A pentagon, hexagon, octagon, and so on and so forth. F uh, I'm gonna arrange these as nice as possible, but it won't look nice anyways. Just a sec. Okay, it's cool. Now let's take the star. What else can you do with the star? Basically, the same method applies to the star. Press and hold shift, but there's another thing. Uh, you can add... Okay, let's just go with the arrows. Let's go and press the upper arrow and down arrow and you can play around like how many spikes you want to add you want to do a triangle you do, tri you do a triangle this is a I don't know what is this okay uh, let's say we added a lot of spikes okay um, and from here let's say we want to create I don't know a badge a wavy badge so you can you can start by this and by pressing alt you can sorry control you can increase and decrease the you know the the spikes edginess so let's say i just want to create a simple badge like this let me scale this down i mean up sorry i can select with the direct selection tool get it here direct selection tool and bring these like this so we got the nice badge going on here but as you can see you can make a lot of creative uh, things out of uh, this um, just press the control and voila or I don't know but uh, the main idea is like you can go bonkers with it okay I think we're good. I think it's enough. Thinking to create some more stuff out of this, but um, right now the time is short. 
eventually next time I might explore even further but uh, this is a common uh, badge outline so you can create interesting stuff out of this let me do another copy you know you can go crazy with that so anyways this was the tutorial on how to use more specifically uh, the hexagon and uh, star uh, yeah thank you so much for watching if you liked it uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, yeah have a great day bye bye